butter making begins with the tanker truck delivery to the dairy. Almost 8,000 gallons of raw cow's milk. They pump the raw milk into a machine called a separator. The separator spins, dividing the raw milk's fat from the rest of the liquid. The fat is called buttercream, and the rest is skim milk. They put the buttercream in what's called a bulk tank, where mixers stir it to maintain the consistency. After pasteurizing and then aging the buttercream for 24 hours, workers prepare to transfer it to another machine called the churner. They pour in just under 400 gallons of buttercream, filling the churner about halfway. It's important to leave some room so that air released in the churning process can escape through two vents in the churner. The churner spins at 28 rotations per minute, about the speed of a clothes dryer. This causes the buttercream's fat molecules to bunch together, releasing water and air. Every five minutes, a worker stops the churner and regulates the air vent on top. When he feels there's no more air escaping, he closes the valve and restarts the machine. After 30 minutes of churning, the fat molecules in the buttercream are creamy clumps known as popcorn butter. These clumps stay trapped in the churner while the remaining liquid called buttermilk flows out a drain at the bottom. A vacuum pump system sends it through hoses to a nearby container. This draining process takes about 10 minutes and produces about 210 gallons of buttermilk.